Hey, do we ever play Gartic phone together where you like have to draw the prompts and people have to guess what it is? Oh my gosh, I'm really messing this up. Um, we wish Mark a happy birthday. We wish Mark a happy birthday. We wish Mark a happy birthday. And a happy birthday. There it is. Yay. <laughs> there it thanks. is. Uh, thanks to my bosses for stopping by. <laughs> Uh, we had some things. We emailed you a few things you got to get done tonight. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I sent another <laughs> email too. Wait, you think tonight? You think you could maybe get some of those things done? Did you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Not only is it Friday night, but you want me to do it tonight on my birthday as well? It's free real estate. I guess I yeah. did sign my life away back in 2011. Yeah, they know, they know you don't have any plans. It's your birthday, so. We need media. <laughs> yeah. We need, we need media. Get us Spider Man. <laughs> Get us content. Come on. Oh, oh God, I didn't even have enough time. To, oh. Well, I'll uh, just give me a few minutes. Oh my gosh, this drawing. Um, right now we're playing that game where it's like you get a prompt, you have to draw it, and the next person has to guess what that drawing is. Guess what your prompt was. Oh. Oh, it's it's Isn't kind. Of, it feels like a Jackbox game, but it's just like yeah, a free like browser a, game. Uh, draw, draw. Mark, did you already draw do thing? your uh, your happy birthday animation on your stream? I've got a. Uh, do you have it up right now? What you, you want me to watch your stream? No, I want you to see the birthday animation. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. What do I search? Well, if you go to, in, the, in the Discord, in the top right-hand corner, you can just click. You should be able Switch. to... Switch.television. Uh, oh, dude. I'm watching it now. Listen. Watch this. Tyler had to call me and teach me how to even do what I'm doing that right this second. So Tyler, let me know yeah. when you're watching. I'm proud of you. Okay, hold on. What do I search? What's your name on here? Shumba. It's just Real Bear Media on Shumba. Twitch. Shumba! Shumba! Mark, Mark, it's your guy. He showed Shumba, up for your birthday. Garlic phone. Dang it. Dang, hello. I got an ad. I'm watching an ad. The broadcaster <laughs> so has indicated times. that this channel is intended for mature <laughs> audiences, hey, period. It's because I sometimes you have to draw a, a penis whenever you're doing these games. So I gotta <laughs> make sure I cover <laughs> you the have ground. To. Yeah. Yeah. It's legally TLS. required. Yeah. Man, why do I have to watch a freaking ad every time I yeah. want to listen to my friend play video games? Watch your profanity. Wait, um, that's why you buy Twitch Turbo. Which it's Twitch, Twitch Turbo? What? You don't have to watch. What? I twitched over you. Will never have to watch a Twitch ad ever again. Uh, could you st could you not promote other things on Mark's stream? Thanks. <laughs> oh no. I'm watching your stream. Okay, here's the. Uh, it, Get in you're here, probably man. seeing the Heathens Dance Party. So viewers, it was awesome. viewers that watch for a long time. Okay, turn off. The, okay, now they're just blasting me with sound alerts. Viewers can <laughs> can exchange May. their May. points. Hold on, I'm talking. Uh, this is my birthday. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and they can exchange their points that they rack up while they're viewing to alert a. Uh, uh, heathens dance party, but here's here's the birthday thing. Are you watching? Are you through the all the ads? Or are there more ads? And no, I'm watching. watching this okay, now. so if I just point my hand to the ceiling, I got a sensor. Happy birthday! And it, and it, uh, the balloons go up, and I uh, spent a lot of money on that animation. <laughs> you like look Dude, down. Sick. God. Yeah, right before just, the balloons went up. Sick. What was that about? What are you looking down at? I uh, know it's. I was making sure no the sensor was, was 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 pointed at the right. Oh, you know. oh okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't hit a keystroke. It's literally I I coded it to. It's really intense. Hey, Mark, I responded. <laughs> I responded right to now. it uh, way sooner than I actually saw it because I was trying to beat the the lag. <laughs> That's why there was really no there was no heart in it. I was wondering what was going on, dude. Sick. I didn't know what I was <laughs> yeah. even saying. That's all right. I mean, that's better it's than cool just sitting though. here in silence. That's how you guys all doing today. Um, Welcome. I, I, I gotta go. Pictures. <laughs> oh no, I that wasn't go. that wasn't a reference. I, I seriously wasn't trying to do. A no, reference. no, it's fine, Mark. I get it. You're a huge fan. It's not like I get. You're a big Welcome. fan. 
Big fan. I get forced to dance to Heathens every once in a while if someone gets Hey, Mark, you got any questions for me or Josh? Since we're yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, questions. You talking like memory? You talking bidet? Favorite boss? That's tough. I'm gonna probably have to say Tyler. And I don't mean anything bad by it. It's just like, Josh, I think if you would have asked me, maybe I would have said Josh. <laughs> even, you're saying even when we're one on one, I say Tyler. So there you go. Oh no, I think you should talk about memories. I think we can all wait a second. Is that okay for everybody? I feel like I I need this opportunity. As long as it's good stuff, <laughs> it's vivid. <laughs> Well, can I, is, I mean, if, if it's a really bad story that kind of makes me look dumb, then can I at least tell it or am I just going to have to sit through it? Oh, you can tell it. Cause I want to hear your, cause I've said it so many times. I think you'll be able to regurgitate it pretty well. Happy birthday, we cannot I know, hear. I remember the bullet points. Uh, you accidentally pooped your pants on tour, and you threw your, you didn't know what Welcome. to do with your pants, so you threw them in a dumpster in the back of a grocery store. <laughs> and then when you were laying in the bunk later that night, you you th you thought, "Where's my phone?" Welcome. And you accidentally <laughs> threw your pants with no. your phone in the pocket into the oh. dumpster, and so then you had to dumpster dive. Oh. Onto your poopy pants to get your phone. Oh. Yeah, the, the dumpster. Story, I did not believe you, by the way. Welcome. Um, oh my god. It's uh it it was a freshly empty dumpster. Just instantly oh, empty. okay. You're okay, right. No, good. I did have to go dumpster diving because it was at the bottom of the dumpster. And we're talking like a anyway, five and a half foot deep bump dumpster. I've always loved that story about you. It shows perseverance. Who, I mean, who hasn't you, accidentally yeah. thrown their phone away in their poopy pants? I mean, I mean, clearly I've mm. done it. Mark, you got a favorite Mark? It's Mark, Josh, do you have a favorite Mark story? Mark, you? Uh, <laughs> Mark, do you? Mark, what's your favorite thing about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's here, Josh. Uh, yeah, I do. I, I like. So actually, I think this, um, this is this is this is a great thing that I always remember about Mark. When, when, um, but I think it's pretty much like Welcome. when we first met and, um, <clears throat> or we'd known each other for like a week or yeah, maybe like a week. And, uh, w w you know, everyone was hanging around the, hanging around the house that we all hung out at. And it was like a, it was always a huge fight for like what we're going to go eat. And it was always, you know, it'd take two hours to figure out. And we went to a restaurant and, and at the time, and I don't think, I mean, t I, I, Tyler and I were just friends. We were, we were kind of just all friends, but not really. In a no band. benefits yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Financial, <laughs> financial yeah. benefits. Neither of us were yeah. benefiting from the friendship at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> um, so much so that I was Welcome. actually completely broke and I, and I am, I was over at the house and, um, and we went over to get some food and um and i was and i was just like i have zero dollars in my pocket and and <laughs> well in general zero dollars and mark's like i have like ten dollars <laughs> and he was like, wait in what world oh, was i financially better off than you what was happening this, Did one, you this is why this i i this this story and i always remember it because you you bought me uh like a salad at the restaurant and um and uh and i i guess i still owe you for that salad there you go. Aww. Oh, wow, dude. With interest. It's like 300 bucks. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, I remember right that. Now, we buy. I remember just Was it just barely... was it one of those God. endless salads though, where you just kind of like yeah. threw them some leaves? <laughs> yeah. Olive Garden. I Aww. I can't believe we survived the Welcome. first year. Just I don't even remember yeah. how I made money. Just like just yeah, I don't know. barely scooting by. Thank thank that God for so stressed rich. out, am I right? Welcome. Let's go. Let's go. Right Songwriter of the year, two thousand what? Mark, can you do the, the the wrist flap, you bro, snap thing? I can't. Welcome. Oh, yeah. I just hit him with it. I can react. I anyway. Well, I think the noise gate yeah. oh, okay. on Discord might be welcome too high, but I'm God. really slamming my finger down trying to make yeah, it work. You really hear, hit it. I can see you doing it, and I hear it in my head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Welcome. It's really taking me back to middle school right now. Thanks for that. Pack and dip Mark, in you middle ever school. smoke cigarettes? Well, one time I remember smoking cigarettes was when I was in character at your Welcome. New Year's Eve party. That's right. Tyler had an that. 80s theme murder mystery party, and nice. I, I was in character, man. I was smoked a pack. What was his name night. again? Welcome. Oh, shoot. I think like it was like... Jet? Jet, yeah. It was <laughs> smoking cigarettes. Jet Smokerman. Man. Welcome, Jet Smoker man. So, yeah, Mark, you're 33. I'm 33. Josh is 33. A lot of 33s. Any any other 33s in here right now? Well, no, we got probably a dozen Hello? people in this Discord. Nah, no, not yet. No, Shumba's no. gonna be 33, right? Shumba, no, I'm 30. 30. I'm so how does it I'm feel, Mark? Welcome. I mean, we're all we're all the same age now. Josh is what like five or six months older than us, and he's always felt like kind of like the grandpa, and now right. we're. Now we're the same age as Welcome. Him. Yeah, this is actually, feel? this is, this is like my favorite time when Mark, when Mark turns 33, then it's like, we're okay, fine. Finally, we're all. Oh, cause I'm last. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're all Our little brother. Age. Yeah. Little Mark with his video camera. I finally turned big three, three. Um, I've been forging the trail for six months. Welcome. I will say like 28 through 32 didn't really feel any different, but 33 definitely feels like, man, I gotta start like, really saving money and stuff. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> like I had to call the, like the DMV and like insurance is like, Hey, you still healthy? How you feeling? Should we bump that Welcome. premium up? Or are you good? Did they get a message from your bidet? Yeah. They got a message from my automatic bidet. And said, Hey, his poops are really black. I think there's some blood somewhere Whoa, in the system. Oh my God. Oh my God. So Come it's a cell phone in here. <laughs> it's uh it definitely feels more i think 33 feels more like in my my 30s than welcome i have been so far mm. it's only gonna get worse man i'm proud of you man yeah, well at least you guys have done some stuff you you guys got I'll, married i'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell a little story i'll tell a little story about uh about mark when i first met mark we were i was playing music in some you know some of these dive bars welcome and he, I guess, long story short, he was working with someone who he'd known from the town he was from. This guy was starting a t-shirt company Welcome. and hired Mark to kind of like shoot some footage and use it for a promotional stuff for the t-shirt company. That t-shirt company kind of hosted a weekend of shows at these bars and we were a part of that. And so we played that show and that was the first time I met Mark. I remember him saying like, hey, do you mind if I, you know, shoot you guys as well? It's like, yeah, that's totally fine. I've never had anyone film us do anything. Um, and uh, and I really liked what he did. And not too long after that, I just said, hey, there's a there's a room in the house that we live in that's uh, available. Do you want to move in? And I, and I remember thinking when I asked Marcus, this is a guy I don't know at all. He lives, you know, a couple hours from me. A couple hours. <laughs> that's the funniest <laughs> part. It's not like I was... Like and on yeah, campus. Yeah, it's not like you were in town <laughs> looking for like you were in a different place entirely. At least the way I looked at it, it was like, I'm gonna go way out on a limb here and ask this random dude uh if he wants to live in our house. Cause we you were living in a place with three or four other guys. Um and he just right away said, Yeah. And I was just really kind of shocked by that. And he moved in and all of a sudden, you know. My dad would stop by and be like, hey, how's everything going? Who's that guy upstairs? I'm like, I don't know. He just lives here now. <laughs> Who's that guy scurrying around up there? His name's, his name's Mark. Um, but I think now I'm realizing it's kind of his new name. 
don't know if you guys know, but Mark's <laughs> full name is Mark Christopher Ashelman. And before he like his st- his stage name is actually stage. okay. This is <laughs> this is confusing. stage Why? name like Mark? I'm. Like you're about to tell everyone <laughs> yeah. that I want to go by share now. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. So, so this was when we met Mark, Mark said, hi, my name is Mark. And it made sense because it was the first name in the string of names that he had on his license. Okay. That's Mark. Um, when, whenever we would play shows around the Dayton area and around Cincy and the places he kind of like grew up his stomping grounds, people would walk up to him and be like, yo, Chris, what's up? You're like, who's Chris? <laughs> so it turns out Mark went by Chris for a big portion of his life. And so his kind of breaking away from really? the, the town that he grew up in and, and deciding to kind of live up in Columbus instead of down near Dayton. He's like, ah, enough, enough of that. I'm going with Mark now. And so that was kind of a moment where he, it, he reinvented himself. It was, which it was like, malting. It wasn't too it was, creative because it was shedding. actually your real name. I was shedding what my mom deemed my name, which was Chris, because my uncle went by his middle name, so I did too. And I oh. rebranded. I made a move. And also, you know, your drummer at the time was Chris, so you couldn't have two Chris's. I think that I kind of so. was intriguing. So anyway, I thought it was I thought it was like so cool for for me to ask this random dude who once he moved in, I realized he also changed his name. So talk about like starting off on a sketchy foot. Like, did I, did I make the wrong call? This guy's like changing his identity and moving into the room upstairs. And I'm (laughs) trying to fall asleep thinking, I don't know what he's about to do. Uh, and it just turned out to be one of the coolest, most spontaneous things in my life when it comes to my, you know, the, the journey that I've gone through is meeting Mark Eshelman running into him, going out on a whim, being like, this guy's super creative. He's really talented. Like, let's do this. And him saying, yeah, I'm in. And anytime, and not to get kind of, you know, serious or sentimental, but anytime anyone uh, approaches Josh and I and asks us questions about like, hey, you know, I want to start working in music and kind of get a, you know, a local following going or playing, you know, local shows, what's, what's something that we should do? I always say, you got to find yourself a Mark. And they they look at me like, what are you saying? And and then I explain. Because Mark has done so much for us and come in and really like, I don't know. He's just, he's made us always at every step look way cooler, more professional and more interesting and more creative than we really are. And that really helped us. So props to Mark. Everyone, can we give Mark a big round of applause for everything? Wow. Everybody. Let's go, Mark. Anyway. Also, he poops his pants on tour. <laughs> yeah, and throw away my <laughs> phone. Um, one of the things I always think about is, Tyler, I don't know if you'll remember doing this, but you were you commented and said that you kept on writing music, but I haven't made nearly as many videos. You didn't say it that way. You said it in a more <laughs> endearing way. But you're like, I'm finishing songs. Like You should be working on videos all the time. It's like, you know you're right. And I think about that every time when I wake up in a, in a night terror. <laughs> 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 gotta keep yeah. making media you just keep on cranking out media crank bro out media. Chris can't wait to be tweeted hey Chris for the rest of my life I gotta say <laughs> I think you made a good choice there I, I can't really picture you as a Chris it yeah. makes no sense yeah it, it doesn't fit at all I, I moved on it really blows anyway. my mind when we like when we're like near your like hometown or, or around some of your like friends or family from from your hometown and and people call you Chris. I'm just it is the most confusing thing. Actually, do you we can let him in on a, a bit of an inside joke here, which I don't even I don't even know how it started or how is this built to be, but that's actually not your name at all. <laughs> your real name. If we <laughs> want to walk him through it. Mar- <laughs> Josh, do you want to tell him what his real what the, what his real name is? His Christian name, his birth name is Clark, <laughs> Clark, Carlos, Carlos, Barlos. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a woman? laughs> no, it's, just, it's Clark. One day, I don't know what it was, but sometimes Mark does this thing where he gets <laughs> just fed up with someone having a conversation in front of him and he'll just interrupt them. And one day, I think maybe a roommate was talking and he said, hey, Mark, do you think he goes, it's Clark. 
It just it's, <laughs> still does that it's like here. everyone, it's, everyone it's has been the saying whole it conversation wrong. And we all kind of thought, this guy's actually mad. And he, this guy just changed his name again right in front of us. <laughs> it's Clark. <laughs> really? Chameleon. It's Clark, yeah. And then it turned into like his last name's Carlos. But then we realized it was his middle name. Oh, so it's Clark Carlos. He's like, no, 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 it's Clark Carlos Carlos. Oh, you have two middle names and it's the same name. Yeah. And your it's, last name yeah, is Eshelman. No, 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 it's Clark Carlos Carlos Barlos. <laughs> <laughs> With a B. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, I feel like yeah, some people may be listening and laughing. Some people are like, what in the heck? But truly, y- you also, you know, when you, when you spend hours and hours and hours in a van, uh, just the, 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 just wildest conversations happen and it's it's really it's really funny um but but like sometimes retelling a story just doesn't make sense and there was there's one that mark and i still do from from the van uh because because i would be kind of like in the you know you you're separated by the the benches in the in the van so i was kind of in in the like back of the van and then mark was in the middle row tyler was the one in front of that but Mark and I would usually wait. So wait, Mark, you were in the back. Back is that what? It no, was? it was the driver and passenger seats, and then yeah, it was no, your Josh, bench. You were in the backpack. Your yeah. bench, and then my bench, and then the futon that we made work in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I just ended up with the futon. That had to be yeah. so bad for you, <laughs> just laying down for hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or I was like sitting cross-legged or whatever. But um, <laughs> Mark, Mark would um. Mark would just kind of turn around and, and, and look at me and be like, because, you know, we'd just be driving in the middle of nowhere. And he'd be like, I don't, I don't care at all about this place. But what the hell is on the other side of those trees? <laughs> <laughs> and the and hell? we just laughed so, we laughed so hard. It's just um, the stupid stuff like that that just got us through those drives. I mean, we just oh, yeah. try to be That's as stupid as possible. Our booking agents would be like, "Yeah, you have a show, and you have a show in, uh, you know, L.A., and then the next day you have one in Austin, and then the next day you have one in Washington D.C." <laughs> like, watch your profanity. Okay. It's routing. We're gonna go sense. insane, and we did. I think we did go insane a little bit. Well, we made Michael drive literally the whole entire time. That poor guy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he felt, you felt like Mark, a high school trucker. We wanted to jump in and wish you a happy birthday on your stream. We think it's really great that we can keep track of when you're not working when you should be. So keep streaming. (laughs) uh, It's like a a baby monitor, but for me. (laughs) (laughs) A baby monitor. (laughs) You should do it. You should do an overnight like sleeping stream. And then everyone can like donate money and wake me up. Wait, what is that? A, is that a heathen's dance party? What is that? Yeah. What am I yeah. looking at? That's well, it turns into like a dance party thing, but people are just doing it at an appropriate time. And that's my fault. Cause I gave them power to do that. Dude, do whatever you want to do, man. It's your birthday. You can <laughs> cry if you want to. <laughs> I'll make up for that that missed dance party later. When's the last time you cried? That's a great question. Um, last week. <laughs> last time cool. I cried. He, he was getting his butt kicked in Halo. I was getting my butt kicked in Halo. <laughs> because we were doing big team games and those are terrible. Really? I've actually never done big team. It's not Is great. It worth it? No. No. Well, I mean, I think we can make it fun, but really, it's just all. I think four is just what's supposed I to be. We made it fun. You think so? Yeah. I, I do too. I think the customs are a lot more fun. Oh yeah, the customs. Oh, nightmares. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Mark. I see on your. Sh- someone said, you "Guys, we need a Christmas stream." I don't think we're doing a Christmas stream this year. Is that correct? Um, Josh, Josh is the director of streams. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I don't think so. We but... had one planned, and then tell him what happened, Josh. Oh, I don't know what happened. I I just 
I, I think that it just <laughs> didn't happen. Well, you know, your basement flooded. Oh, that's true. Um, my, uh, the, the streaming server is in my basement and, um, it flooded, unfortunately. So, um, all my gear is completely ruined and I mean, yeah. imagine trying to get good audio signals from, from a microphone that's just completely wet. You just yeah. can't. And you can get audio, but it just, it sounds absolutely terrible. Funny um, thing about Josh's house is he has to solve like 20 codes in order to figure out how to unflood his basement. He has to watch a live stream for 24 hours, gets four codes from that, and then plugs them in to a website, and then the flood goes away. Damn, it's a lot of work. I mean, yeah. I created these codes. Um, but you with, forgot with them all. Tyler. And then, yeah, and then I, I, uh, cause I, cause I'll kind of like write them down and then jumble them up and then, and then, um, have, you know, a coder kind of like put this stuff in. Um, and it's, and it's, it's virtually uncrackable. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I got it once and, uh, and, and, um, I, I, I didn't stop the basement from flooding, but I did get a cool flash drive in the mail with nice. a video of Tyler on it. Got it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Old people love that music video. The level of concern video? Yeah. I have an old person come up to me all the time. They're like, that that one word at the end. <laughs> Their neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Not just great. Well, it makes them like it so much. Just the fact that it has like a concrete ending that can be understood. I think maybe they like it because we're not doing anything psychotic in it. Like, your eyes like aren't turning red. <laughs> Josh's drum kit's not flying apart. Well, <laughs> Whatever it is, old-fashioned mail. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing you know millennials use the mail system. <laughs> oh <laughs> lord, here we go. It's like the first time in our career we haven't worn like some sort of mask or something. Oh, yeah. I, I like the part where I could see who you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. I don't know. I don't want to hijack your stream too much, man. No, this has been great. I love an opportunity to talk to you guys because I feel like we don't really get to do this. Too we don't often. talk anymore. Yeah, I know. We're not you, friends. you guys walk on stage and do your show and I'm doing my thing. This was nice. Hey, question for you. Have you ever tripped on stage with your camera? Um, yeah, I think I've clipped the top step on either stage left or stage right a couple of times for sure. But I've never went and down yet. You've not gone down? No, it's been a little stutter step. I'll be honest with you. The scariest part is going down the steps coming off stage. Because I'm running away from the flames. I'm running, mm. like, literally sprinting <laughs> away from the pyro. Nice. And then, like, security's, like, on the steps. So I got to, like, maneuver and, like, it's, it's, uh, but knock on wood, I think I've been pretty cl in the clear so far. Well, good. I, I hope that if it does happen, uh, you're rolling. Yeah. Pun intended. <laughs> really? uh, because I'd love to see that footage. It'd be incredible. You're sick of seeing ones of you. Yeah. You're always really graceful about it. I don't think that's going to be the same story for me. I don't know. Yeah, I've fallen a few times. Josh has fallen only once. Off yeah. a riser no, onto his head. I've fallen. No, I've fallen... Uh, I, there, there was only one time that I didn't land the backflip, and I, I over rotated a little bit, and I landed on my butt. Um, and then there was a time, what an idiot. yeah, yeah, what an absolute idiot. And then there was a time that I was on, that I was like, uh, I don't even remember why. I, I went down to the like one of the little ego risers on stage, and on my way, on my way coming off of it, I, there was like a cable ramp right behind it, and I twisted my ankles. Um. I don't think people realize how much of a jungle it is behind the stage. Like sometimes I mean, there's excuses for us to, that we can throw out. So it's like, Hey, you, you guys got to understand. It's pretty easy to fall. But. <laughs> We're like toddlers back there when we move yeah. from stage. It's funny because like Josh, you're, you're sitting 95% of the show. Right. So there's for the five, per, the only 5% that you're actually walking for you to fall. That's not, that's not, a, it's not good odds. No. And then I did have to go to the hospital during rehearsal because I fell off the thing that lifted up 20 feet in the air. It still makes me sick to my stomach. <clears throat> it wasn't 20 feet, but I did, I did um, cut my head open. During the show? Whoa. Yeah, rehearsal. 
Yeah, oh, it was yeah, rehearsal. Right. The thing, the thing was up, and then uh, after after we finished the song, it it all cut to uh, all the lights cut out, and I didn't even know the thing was up, and so I went to to um, to hop off of it, and it was up. Dude, in that the must air. have been the weirdest sensation ever. Okay, <laughs> to try to paint the picture, his drums are on a riser that go up into the air, like several. I mean, I don't know what is it like ten feet, and. When the song ends, it goes from flashing lights that are blinding to then pitch dark. And you really just have no idea where you are. You feel like you're in a sensory deprivation tank. And so he didn't know that the drums were 10 feet up in the air. And so he stepped off of his drum kit backwards, thinking he was going to just step maybe a foot tall onto stage. But his foot kept going for 10 more feet and fell on the stage. And cracked his head open. I think he was being dramatic. I think you're fine. Oh <laughs> well, I mean, I guess so because I got to the hospital, and the guy, <laughs> the, the guy was like, uh, "He's like, you're fine." And he didn't do he didn't do anything. There was no there was no stitches. There was he didn't even give me a band aid. Um, so I, I I clearly was being over dramatic on that one. Yeah, and, and then in the episode, I that we put it in for that tour. Um, I wanted it to feel like I caught it all live. So I had your security guard come into my office. It's like, Hey, t- pretend you're making a call that Josh has got hurt. And I hit record on my camera and he faked that whole thing where he's like, uh, we just Dude. had an incident where Josh fell. <laughs> it just made him act. It's like, sit here, do this, make it look like I caught everything. The curtain's coming down live on twitch.tv. Yeah. What no, the heck? man? On, I didn't even go. know that. Oh, I thought you, you were doing your gerb. No, I, was, I wasn't streaming yet, but I was playing video I, games. Yeah, were you streaming <laughs> when Josh fell off his drums and then you had to grab your camera real fast? And then, yeah, the baby monitor was off, so I got away with it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you get back to your, your flow. Thanks for letting us jump in. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy this birthday, Mark. Good surprise. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, this is a, just a digital digital hug. I don't think, how how many times have we hugged? Three Ooh. times, and they, I think it was like after you got married, after you had Rosie, and then when I found out Jenna was pregnant. Wow. That's Three it. Three times. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, you know, that, let's leave it there. Yeah, <laughs> like three. Enough. Well, so, <laughs> so no more kids. <laughs> yeah, no second no more marriage. Kids, no more hugs. Nothing. Yeah, but how many times have you kissed? Well, okay. Well, Five. how long does the stream go? <laughs> <laughs> like he was Josh, like we hug, right? that, We've hugged a few times. <laughs> that chlorine- I i'm not just i'm not a hugging person no you're not you're de- you're not a hugging person but but we have hugged before dude mark that that edit for chlorine was so good <laughs> <laughs> well that's what that's that's what you that's all you ask for for payment <laughs> does ned look good tyler yes Mwah. thank you it's on the cheek though Butt cheek. Butt cheek. <laughs> All right. Josh, you got anything else to add? Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, uh, it's Mark. It's your special day. Enjoy it. You're a, you're a guy who, who values excellence and, and values uh, people who uh, care about you, surrounded by you. And I think that's why you have this this community here and these people, you know, these people in your stream that you, you play, play, you know, your, your little video games with. Oh, um, oh, geez. <laughs> oh okay. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> your sister-in-law's um, in here, dude. Wow. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, everyone here loves you and, and, and I love you and, and we're, we're thankful for, uh, just these, these stories and memories that we have with you. And, um, I hope there's many more years of it. Me too, man. I always feel like I don't deserve my position because there's so many people so much better than me at this job, but Shut up. I'm Shut glad up. that I have it. Yeah. Shut up. Listen, Dylan. Zip it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll end it with what my dad says. Anytime I'm playing video games, he's like, Oh, did the cartoon kill the other cartoon? And then he walks out <laughs> of the room. So good luck with your cartoons killing other cartoons. <laughs> All right. I appreciate All right, I'll it. I'll see you, dude. So yeah, thanks, Peace. guys. Bye. 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 All right. Hey, Will, thanks for joining us. I'm going to hang out with my band now. 
to you guys. Hey, bye. <laughs> bye, mate. Thanks bye, for sticking bye, around. Man. We're going to watch. Bye. I just, just want to make a cameo appearance. Yeah. <laughs>